Um, we're going to see how you can use a combination of the styles panel, layer comps, um, the slicing tool as a way of making rollover buttons that you can export out of Photoshop. So it's going to see a technique for doing that. Um, I've got my layer comps panel and my styles panel here. I access them by going to the Windows menu where I found layer comps and styles, I like so. And what I'm going to do is, and I've got this, uh, this navigation bar set up here. Now I'm going to go and apply, create a style by double clicking on the, the layer. So I've just double clicked on this shape layer that I had down here. And I'm going to add a drop shadow and a colour overlay. Like so. So that's what I want my, my button to look like as I roll over it. Um, I'm going to go and save that as a style. And I'm going to call it uh, roll over background. And I also want the text colour to change. So I'm going to go and set up another um, style here with the colour overlay changing the text to black. So that's what I want that to look like when I roll over. I've got one style to save, so I'm just going to go and save another one for my text. Like so. So, I'm now going to um, undo those changes. So I'm back to my original state. Here's my global navigation um, layer set. There's my two styles. Um, now in my layer comps, I'm going to go to the layer comps panel and I'm going to get my um, Photoshop document to remember the state of these layer comps. So I'm going to click on there and I'm going to call this normal and I want it to remember just information about the appearance for this style. And that creates a layer comp setting in there. Now to go and create my rollover effects, I'm going to go and uh, Open up my global stars again, global, sorry, my layers, and I'm going to go and select the backgrounds of each of my, my layers. So I've selected all those shape layers, and I'm going to apply the rollover background to that. And then I'm going to go and get the type layers and apply the black text effect, like so. Come over to my layer comps panel. And I'm going to um, save a new layer comp here, which I'm going to call Rollover. OK that, like so. And now I can easily toggle back and forth between the two um, states there. Next up, I'm going to go and use my slice commands to go and create slices based on these, uh, these layers. So I'm going to go and again select the background layer, which is my shape layer. Go to the layer panel and I'm going to choose new layer based slice. And that creates a slice around that layer. I'm going to do that for multiple layers at the same time. I don't think I've ever tried doing this all at once, but look, you can do it again. And that creates slices for each of those. And I can go and name each of these slices, which will make it help more useful to me when I go and take them out to uh, incorporate them in a web page. And I've gone and selected the slice tool, and next I'm going to name each of the slices I've just created by getting the slice select tool, double clicking on the first slice, there it is, I'm going to call that button res info, second slice, call that button about, button homes for sale, oops, And I'm going to put some charitable trust. All right, it's all going in my area. Right, so I've got each of these named. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is export each one of these slices by going to File, choosing Save for Web and Devices. And then I'm going to use the Slice Select tool again to select each one of those slices. Going to check that I'm going to take them out as a PNG8, which will probably get me the smallest compression. Click Save. And Photoshop prompts me to ask me where it wants to go and put these. Now, 
I don't want it to uh, take out all the images here, and I'm going to go and make sure that I've just got this on selected slices. Then I'm going to go and um, check the custom setting here, and go and see the name that it's going to take this out as. Now I just wanted to go and take each slice out as its normal name, so I'm going to take the slice name, and then if I OK this, save that, and a second later, more than a second later, a while later, Photoshop's done. And on my desktop, here you can see the, the examples of the buttons that I've taken out here. Now if I go back to Photoshop, oops, bring Photoshop back, when I want to export my rollover states, I can just simply click on the layer comp, like so, and go and do save for web and devices again. Reselect the individual slices I want to take out. Save. But this time, I'm going to go to my custom settings, and I'm going to get it to add the word over to my file name so that I can know that these are the rollover states. OK that, save it out again. And again, the result here on the desktop is another set of buttons, which of course I can put in a neat folder in a moment. But here's my over button, and there's my over states. Now the real beauty of this method is that it's very easy to make updates. When your client changes their mind about whatever word they needed, um, so maybe they don't want charitable trust anymore, they just want to say, um, I don't know, the charity. Let's OK that. Move to just move that along a little bit. I'd center that properly, but that will do. Now, in the other ways, other methods of doing this, I'd have to go and reduplicate the text, think about that again, but if I just go over to the normal state now, you can see it's updated, the rollover state is updated. It makes it very easy to maintain your rollovers and keep everything, everything the same as each other. Again, save for web and devices, and I could go and update, take these out and update my buttons.